In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations that contain fractions using the LCD method. The advantage of using the LCD method is that it clears all of the fractions out of our equation and we can solve it just like we did when we solved equations that didn't contain any fractions at all. And so here are the steps that we use when we're using the LCD method. Step one, we're going to find the LCD. Step two, we're going to multiply by the LCD. Step three, we're going to simplify. And at this point, when we simplify all the fractions in our problem, they're all going to simplify down, down to uh, all the fractions will drop out of every term. And then we'll be left with a regular equation like we're used to solving. And then we'll go ahead and solve that equation. Let's take a look at an example here. In my example, I have an equation that contains fractions. If I look at the denominators of all the fractions in my equation, I have 4, 3, and 12 as my denominators. What I want to first do is find the LCD of all of those denominators. Well, the LCD of 4, 3, and 12 is just 12. So my LCD is 12. That's the first step. Second step now is I want to go through and multiply by the LCD. So now I've set myself up to multiply by the LCD. Now in an equation, we're allowed to multiply both sides of the equation by any number as long as we choose the same number. So what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying the left side of my equation by 12. Notice I've set up parentheses because I'm actually going to want to distribute here and multiply by that 12 times both of those terms. And on the right side, I've multiplied by 12. Now let's take a look at what happens. Now notice both of these cases I've written 12 as a fraction, 12 over 1 and 12 over 1, because I'm multiplying it by fractions here. So let's take a look. When I take 12 over 1 times x over 4, I'm going to first multiply the numerators. 12 times x, 12x. 1 times 4 is 4. Now I'll take 12 over 1 times the next term. There's going to be a minus sign there. So I'd say 12 times x is 12x. And in the denominator, 1 times 3 is 3. Now over here on the right side of my equation, I will take 1 times 12 is 12, and in the denominator, 12 times 1 is 12. So I'm done with step 2. I've multiplied all the terms by the LCD. Now I want to go ahead and simplify each of these fractions. Well, let's take a look. Each of these fractions is going to simplify, and, the, and the, they're going to drop right out. So if I take 12x divided by 4, 12x divided by 4, let's see, that's going to leave me with 3x. Now if I take 12x divided by 3, that's going to leave me with 4x. On the right side now, 12 divided by 12 is 1. Now I'm left with a normal equation that I know how to solve. So I would start, let's see, simplifying the left side, 3x minus 4x is going to give me a negative 1x, and that equals 1. Now to get x all alone, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. And I'll get x equals negative 1 as my answer. Now it's time for you to practice using the LCD method. We learn math by doing, not by watching somebody on a video do the problem. So pause your video player and practice this problem. When you get it finished, go ahead and hit play and you can follow along and see how you did. Alright, we're using the LCD method here. Step one is to find the LCD of all the denominators in the fractions. Well, I have a 5, a 3, and a 3. The LCD of all three of those denominators is 15. Step two, I want to multiply by that LCD. So I'm going to take 15 over 1. And multiply both sides by 15 over 1. Let's take a look. Uh, I'll take 15 times 2x, that would give me 30x. 1 times 5 gives me 5. Now I'm going to distribute, and that was distributing 15 to the first term. Now I'll distribute 15 over 1 to the second term. So I have 15 times x, which is 15x, and then 1 times 3, which is 3. On the right side, 1 times 15 is 15. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, I'm done multiplying. So now I would want to simplify each of those terms, each of those fractions. So let's see, 30x divided by 5 is going to give us 6x. 15x divided by 3 is going to give us 5x. And then finally, 15 divided by 3 is going to give us 5. 
Now we can simplify the left side. 6x minus 5x is going to leave us with 1x. And we have 5 on the right side, so we get our answer of x is equal to 5.